intro again. What's up, Earthlings? Oh. Hey guys, what's up? Today what's I up? have. Oh my god, Sorry. I really do. Okay. It's okay, do it's my fault. Dude, are you serious right now? Who's calling? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we have Josh Eldor again. Man, yeah, can we do it one more time? So. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Josh, aka Josh Eldor, here on my channel. Today we have a brand new trippy talk video for you guys. And it's about aliens. And if you didn't know, Josh has a whole channel where he does a ton of alien videos and conspiracy type things. You guys would really yes. like his channel. It's linked down below. And if you didn't see our announcement, we're coming out with a podcast very, very soon. But anyway, let's get right into it, okay? What are we talking about today? <sighs> crop circles, okay? This has been so requested. And I think crop circles are such, like, people don't just do not know. Oh, no. I mean, I didn't know for a long time. Me. I always just thought, oh, it's that's like just this, a hoax, just yeah. like some, like, pranksters, like, yeah. Carving out cool shapes in a cornfield, but it's not, not that at all, actually. No, not at all. And most people actually don't see all of the different crop yeah. circles that occur in the world. I haven't seen the most. They're incredible. Oh you guys. my god! So if you don't know what a crop circle is, basically they're not really circles. Some of them are circles, but they're yeah. Why are really... they called crop circles? What if it was called crop art? Unfigured out crop art. We have no idea how this is appearing. Alien then people would be interested. But they hear like, oh, someone made a circle in the grass. Great. Well, that's what a lot of people think is yeah. that when we say crop circles, we're literally just talking about little circles that are drawn in crop fields. But right. these yes. designs are like a masterpiece. And they're made in like crop fields. So like oftentimes on farms or something. And we really believe with many other people, and you guys will probably believe this after you watch this, if you don't already believe it now, that these designs were made by extraterrestrials and that they're messages. And since they don't like speak our language, we don't speak the same language, the most common thing to do is create illustrations. So I think that's how they're trying to communicate is like glyphs and... The reason why a lot of us think that is because we believe obviously that aliens or extraterrestrials are far more advanced than we are, meaning they're far more evolved and that they don't even communicate verbally anymore. It's all done Telepathic, telepathically. Yeah. That's Which is why they have to use these symbols, symbols. or pictures to communicate yes. with us. Yeah, yeah. It's just how like how animals communicate pretty much telepathically. Like how a flock of birds all go one way at the exact fucking right second. They don't talk about it. It's not like one of them like shouts out like left. It's it's a telepathic thing, and that's it's so hard as just a basic ass human to understand it. I mean, if you were an alien, how would you communicate with people on Earth? Right, you'd want to draw pictures or symbols. And what is a good medium to do that? Fields of fucking right. wheat. <laughs> First of all, crop circles have been pulled and documented since as early as the 1600s. It could possibly be earlier. Probably. In fact, I bet it's earlier. Um, but that's how long people have been documenting these. There are thousands of them documented. It is insane. I had no idea the extent. I thought maybe it was a couple times this happened, once or twice the farmer woke up to a circle. No, no. you guys, these are insane. Now let's let's look at some before we go any further in talking about them. So the picture you're looking at right now is a crop circle that was 800 feet. And this was found in England back in 2001. The design is so complex, you guys. It is 409 circles. It's an actual symbol that dates back thousands of years. That's what's really interesting about a lot of these crop circles is they're symbols that exist already. Look at the precision. It's so symmetrically perfect. This would be so hard to do. What people also need to know about crop circles is these are done in the middle of the night. Yeah, literally like <laughs> farmer goes to bed, wakes up in the morning, and walks out to his field and sees this like yeah. all of these crops that have been, you know, mm -hmm. pushed down to create this design. Exactly. That's why people think there's no way this could be people. Because how in the middle of the night does one person go out and get that precision in the dark on that grand of a scale, 800 feet? Impossible. Impossible. Literally impossible it's literally without impossible. heavy machinery that would yes. be very loud. And yes. there's no way this could ever be done discreetly and create no. these intricate geometric designs. I mean, they're beautiful. They just look like ancient symbols to me. Like they just look yeah, like. Yeah, they, they are. A lot and of a lot are. of them are, right? Some mm -hmm. of them have been found in going yeah, back as far are, as like. Yeah, in tons of cultures, dude, yeah. that they like recognize these as like extremely important universal symbols that m symbolize the meaning of life. Right. And that's what they're sending us. Okay, so here on the screen, you're now seeing a crop circle that was made by humans. 
This is the best one that's ever been made by humans. This was planned in two weeks, completed in 24 hours. It had a final diameter of only 220 feet. And the team that built this design, you guys, had 12 people. They were all mainly OSU students. And they stomped these oats from 3.30 p.m. on Friday until 2.30 a.m. Saturday. So don't tell me that someone oats. ran to the farmer's lot did this without any budget, no team, no plans, just did these amazing designs that are four times the size of the, like it just, guys. It's not possible. <laughs> it's not. And what a lot of people don't even know about these crop circles is that, or these, I don't even want to call them circles because they're, they're not. not circles. Yeah. They don't deserve the word circles to be mm -hmm. labeled to it. Just because it's in a circular design, it's still, I'm gonna call it alien art because that's what it is. Mm -hmm. But what makes the real ones different from the human-made ones is that in the real ones, the way that the actual crops themselves are like pushed down, they're bent at literally a 90 degree angle. Right. Like it's a 90 degree angle that the actual stock is bent over at. Mm -hmm. And if it were humans, there's no way we would be able to carefully bend a, every single stock in weave the them of in and out of each other. I mean, these things are woven together it's beautifully. Incredible. It's amazing. I mean, mm -hmm. I can't believe that people don't think that there's something else doing this, but yeah. there's no way that humans would be able to do this because when humans do it, it's clear. It it's just stomped like down. Yeah, it looks like this trash. This one looks so much worse than yeah. the other ones. These ones look like not even real. Okay, so this one that you're seeing, this was over one acre of land. This was found in California in 2014. Just look Come at on. it. Come on. You're telling insane. me that a yeah. bunch of kids went out there and made this, essentially? like. And for why? That's why? The main and reason. why? Why? Who does... Do you Secret know anybody that wants to waste no. their time? If I worked that hard on that, I would be like, yo, I did that. Yeah, I like, would be like, is, CNN, oh, get over man. here and look at this. like. And that's what's also weird is the that this doesn't does show up in the news ever no ever they just literally always discount it as a hoax and throw it away and forget about it yep yeah but these are amazing i mean how can you deny this i know you really can't they look like intricate like mazes like they seriously do it's incredible okay look at this one this is from the uk in 2012 this one has sacred geometry points in it wow that's incredible yeah this one was of an ant and it came from england which a lot of crop circles have been found in England, which is interesting. Yeah, I know. There's been a, a lot, lot found in like England. a majority, I think, are yeah, in England. They are. Okay, so this one is from the Middle East desert. This is a sand circle. This just appeared. And this was in the middle of the desert, you guys. No one's walking <laughs> out here. Yeah. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna take this boulder and place it here, and then I'm gonna measure 20 feet that. No, it's not. And then not. I'm just gonna walk home and not tell yeah. anyone. Yeah. Like, just, what? <laughs> Leave it for somebody to randomly fly over it and that see it. That is bullshit. Um, so this one is another crop circle. This was from Italy, or happened in Italy. Um, very intricate design with these thin, thin little circles on them too. Look at the detailing on right here. Incredible. Wow. And then these really thin lines in the middle. It looks so straight and symmetrical. This one is also from England. This one spans 600 feet huge and look at the precision of that like each one is definitely exactly 360 um and my guess is this is some type of message it kind of looks like a cell or like an atom or yeah it does of it kind of looks source. like it's like trying to display the atomic structure or something mm -hmm. but what's also cool about this one is that you can actually see in the actual carved out little circles how all of the stocks are actually woven in circles within it yeah you can and yeah. that's incredible and there's mm -hmm. no way humans would ever spend the time to sit there after not only <laughs> knocking the stocks down, but then weaving them in this circular pattern. Right. There's no way. No There's way. just no way. This one's from the UK. Um, this is a jellyfish. Or an so alien. Kind of looks like an alien. I don't know. I thought this one might symbolize something like life being reborn or something like that. Or maybe, you know, maybe jellyfish just straight up are alien. Uh, some people think that it's in reference to a serpent. It isn't, wasn't this one found somewhat near Stonehenge? A lot of crop circles have showed up around Stonehenge or like right next to it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So what's up with Stonehenge, guys? We need to do another video on that. Do we need to do a trip talk video about Stonehenge? Yes, yes we do. <laughs> so this one 
is incredible. I definitely think it's symbolizing some type of evolution of humans, clearly. It's like butterfly wings. Like they want us to evolve more. They want our species to grow more and to learn more. That's what I take from it. Um, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. I also think it's symbolizing like the flow of energy as well. That could be it. It's amazing. I really think it's some type of like clue of metamorphosis. Like hell how that yeah, works. Hell yeah, it's That we are gonna change. It's and clearly a sign that we need to change and evolve as a race. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Good God. So this is from the Netherlands. This was found in 2009. This one is 530 by 450 meters. Wow, um, that's big. Okay, this one is from, again, the UK, Sugar Hill. Uh, it's a geometrical masterpiece. And yes, it is, That's dude. some crazy <laughs> shit right there. I mean, oh my God. that looks like... Look at it. Look at the boxes. Okay, now this one, this... guys, is wild. <laughs> yeah, prepare yourself yeah. to look at this. Now, these are real, you guys. I... These are actual real. These are not photoshopped. These are all real photos. This one is from the UK again in 2002. Definitely one of the most fascinating ones out there. It has, look at, a full alien face. So they're clearly showing us exactly what they look <laughs> like. Hey guys, here's a... They probably want us to know. They're like, this is who we are. And maybe this is some type of message, the circle with it, that it's like some type of code, Morse code, or I don't know, what else? Or binary. Binary, it's probably, Remember? Yeah. yeah, that's what they're finding. That they're speaking That they're binary. actually communicating in binary numbers, which is computer language, ones and zeros. That's so specific, all these little dots. Yeah. So it yeah. obviously means something. It means yeah. something for sure. And come on, this looks like a portrait off a driver's license right yeah, here. Yeah, like, he's scared of he's like, like this literally is me. just at the DMV. This like. is me. Now, anyone who's scared of aliens, I know there's a ton of people. I admit, when I first started believing in aliens, I was terrified, to be real. But I really believe they're kind creatures. Evil societies that want to wipe us out, aliens, evil aliens, would not be sending us these like beautiful flowers and pictures of themselves. They want to help us. They're trying to communicate with us. I, well, I think they're saying that this is a picture of a gray alien. One of the greys. Oh, that oh. this is one of the gray aliens. Okay, so. so we haven't even gotten to like alien species yeah. on my channel. Yeah. <laughs> we'll say that for another So video. it could be possible that they are warning but about yeah. a different one. Yeah. I but we, we believe that there's multiple interstellar races out there, yes. clearly. So before we get into the last design, which is really, really cool. I want you guys to know this is so important about crop circles and tons of people do not know this is that the area around the crop circle there's like some type of electromagnetic field around it and people find electrically charged like particles in the area and that you can pick up static that leads us to the question of how are they, how are they actually making these designs so we think that the aliens are actually using their spacecraft or their ufos to actually create these intricate designs based upon like electromagnetic well they think they might be using microwaves to, to make yeah. them actually. yeah actually it is like microwaves because the, there's heat mm -hmm. they detect heat and another reason people believe it's microwaves is because of this crop circle this is literally of a microwave like that's what it looks like scientifically wow yep that's crazy and they just sent that shit down they're basically telling us get with microwave energy like yeah. that's what we and not your microwave in your house yeah <laughs> microwaves have this ability with their craft or maybe they're not even using their craft maybe it's just them and they can somehow you know do all of this make all these crazy designs as you can imagine scientists have studied these and they cannot come up with any any conclusion like there's no answers no one has presented a single good answer for this ever and not only that no one has ever been caught making a crop circle for fun yeah either. yeah not a single person yeah. this has been going on since the 1600s don't you think that's a sign it's probably not a person <laughs> yeah okay so what you're looking at right now is a crop circle and you're probably gonna see a face <laughs> Pretty crazy, right? That definitely looks like a face of someone we're po possibly talking to or who's making these messages. Definitely looks like it could be an alien race of some sort. Um, and then over here we have some type of message. And when you look at this message, it's actually my favorite crop circle because it's really, really interesting. There's a message called the Arcebo message. And this was put together by Carl Sagan. Him and some colleagues sent this into space via radio waves. This was the most powerful broadcast to ever be deliberately beamed out into space. It was actually directed at a star cluster <laughs> approximately 25,000 light years away. It had pictorial messages of our planet's location, the solar system, core principles of our math and science. 
and the NASA antenna used to transmit the signal in hopes that it would be interpreted by extraterrestrial intelligence. This message also included details about human beings, such as our physical appearance and our DNA code. The signal was a million times stronger than a typical TV transmission. So this is what the message was, and then what's so crazy, you guys, and we've talked many times about how space and time, you know, it can take a very long time to get messages back and forth. Uh, so a long time, 27 years later, in 2001, we received a response. And yes, this is true. It's not on your news because I don't even I don't no, even know why. They, it's they would have to they'd have to yeah. explain there's aliens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's crazy is the response came right next to Britain's largest telescope, and their message was a little different back. The message back was basically a picture of. The sender. In the messages too, you can see that we said we are human DNA, and they sent back we're not human, non-human non -human DNA. DNA. So they're a different species altogether, different DNA, and that they were from a diff another solar system. They said, which is interesting. And then we sent out a radio antenna. They sent back a microwave antenna. Yes. And the crop field where this message was found is the same crop field a year earlier that mm -hmm. they saw the actual microwave intent. This proves that NASA knows about aliens and has been trying to communicate with them. Oh, yeah. Carl Sagan was part of NASA. I read stuff all the time about NASA trying to, again, try to communicate with the aliens. I mean, they're trying to send stuff out into space all and the time. And meanwhile, they're so. telling us, like, there may or may not be alien life. We don't know. Right. <laughs> they know. We there haven't found it yet. And that's what's so interesting, too, is oftentimes there are video, when people are checking out crop circles, there's videos of helicopters, military helicopters flying over it, like, really fast. What appeared to be happening was that we had moved, walked into a situation which was undesirable because what happened was that the two army helicopters approached us and appeared to be harassing us. I mean, he was so close. It was unbelievable. They're reading these messages. They're, who, for all we know, all of these messages could be a response. Maybe they've been asking questions for a long time well, and some of these newer intricate ones that aren't just like beautiful designs have answers could them. could there be an alien race that's been communicating with the government there i'm pretty sure <laughs> there is <laughs> once you see all this stuff it's pretty hard it's to hard deny. to deny that we're all just been unaware that there's intelligent life elsewhere there's no tracks in the field ever they never no, have any no, footprints or car tires or any sort of equipment no. being moved around no. no to end this video on an interesting note both josh and i really think we're gonna we're going to find aliens in our lifetime we will like the news will be broken to us yes and it may not even be like that far off it could be like in the next 10 years for all we know guys so it's good you're staying woke because you're ahead of the rest of the pack for sure. And I think that the majority of people, for the most part, have started at least thinking about the possibility yeah. that there are other, yeah. you know, civilizations visiting us and maybe they're already here. When you start looking at all the Earth-like planets out there, our Earth is pretty nice. And yeah. there's a lot of natural resources. We're ruining it. Yeah, we're killing it every day, but they don't want Earth to go away. They want Earth to be around and they want they probably want us to be around too, but they probably want us to get up to the level that all these other civilizations have gotten to. Because quite frankly, we should be far more advanced than we are. Yeah. And there's a ton of reasons for why we think this, but... And you're going to have to tune into our yeah, podcast. Yeah, tune into to the higher, more higher <laughs> podcast to hear about that. We'll but. leave the link to describe. <laughs> Just get us talking about aliens. We'll do it all day. This is like the main exciting thing we talk about in our marriage. It's true. That's good though. The aliens are bringing people together. That's what you take away from They brought this video. all these random strangers on this video <laughs> together. Thank you, aliens. <laughs> Alright guys, well if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out Josh's channel. We are about to go film a video on net neutrality, which I've already covered in my videos before. You guys, net neutrality is so, so, so important. I'm going to leave the petition on this video just because it is so important for people like us, for people that are telling the truth for we cannot be controlled. Our internet has got to remain free and open and everyone should want that. So petition below. But that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like if you did. Yes, definitely. Likes are actually really helpful. They we are just super found out helpful. how important they are in searches. So for real, if you give us a like, it means the world. Smash that like button. All right, guys, we will see you next time. Bye. And that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. Oh.